members general options and then just putting a link on the membership options page that directs uh, your visitor to the registration form directly and I'm going to show you how to do that in just a moment but before we go over and edit the, the membership options page directly we need to go ahead and generate our our button code for level number one which will be considered premium access that you'll be paying for so let's expand this down and there's some additional information here you can read over if you like but I'm going to skip over that for right now and we're going to go ahead and configure our button so right here I'm going to say okay we're going to offer 14 days free and then I'm going to charge $169 monthly as a recurring charge for ongoing access now you could choose another option you can charge it daily I'm sure everyone would like to do that <laughs> uh, you can also choose weekly or quarterly or yearly uh, now these are all considered PayPal subscriptions as are all of these these are recurring and these are all non recurring in both of these sets any option you choose under each one of these headings that are titled subscriptions in both of these cases your customer will be required to have a PayPal account in order to complete checkout now that's a limitation with PayPal and there's two ways to get around it one you can either upgrade to Estimable Pro which completely changes the way Estimable integrates with PayPal it uses a PayPal Pro integration which allows you to keep the entire process on your site and it consolidates this this two or three step process all into one single form uh, which is really nice it really helps to increase conversion rates the second way you can do it is by upgrading your PayPal your PayPal uh, standard account your business account by adding the enhanced recurring billing uh, you can do that through your PayPal account it's called enhanced or ERB enhanced recurring billing and with that additional uh, upgrade which is it's a, there's a fee associated with that as well uh, but that will also lift this limitation on, on your customers having to have a PayPal account. So those are two ways to avoid that, circum that, that circumstance where your customer must have a PayPal account or to complete checkout on one of these subscription options. Now, in the bottom of this drop-down, there's some additional options for buy now access. Now, these options never require the customer to have a PayPal account because these are not associated with a quote-unquote subscription. These are just buy now. They're non-recurring. You cannot include a trial with these. So if I select one of these options, the trial option goes away. You see, it's it's no longer appears here uh, because buy now is just for a fixed term. You know, it's for one month, two months. You can choose how long you want to last for, or even choose lifetime here. Uh, and buy now is is versatile in that uh, the customer does not have to have a, a PayPal account even without enhanced recurring billing enabled. Okay, so in this demonstration, we're going to use monthly, and I'm offering 14 days free, 169. So that means the first 14 days after the customer signs up. There's nothing charged initially, and there's nothing charged in those 14 days. After those 14 days are over, ST uh, member will automatically charge the customer $169. And then each month thereafter, on the anniversary of that initial payment, uh, ST member will charge the customer again automatically, and ST member will leave their access open on the site uh, as well, as long as those payments continue to come in. Now, if the customer cancels, or if the customer forces a chargeback or refund, uh, or anything like that occurs, then Estimer will automatically handle that as well. Uh, and the customer can even cancel their own subscription. If they have a PayPal account, they can just log in and they can cancel it themselves if they like. Uh, in either case, Estimer will always react accordingly, uh, utilizing the IPN service behind the scene. Okay, now this additional option here for, for page style uh, is available inside your PayPal account. And you can access this under, uh, under your PayPal account under custom page styles. If you go to your profile, and PayPal and you look at custom page styles you can create different uh, very color variations and upload your own logo and then you can assign it a, a style name which you would then type in here and tell S2 member about uh, and this will allow S2 member to request that specific style whenever its button is clicked so I recommend that you do this uh, if not initially then later after you've had S got S2 member integrated initially and you've tested everything uh, you can go back recreate your button codes and add in a custom page style it's a really nice addition Okay, so uh, we're going to skip over custom capabilities. Uh, there's a separate video that covers custom capabilities. This is a fairly advanced topic, and so I'm going to skip over this right here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and click Generate Button Code. So I click this button, and then it says, oops, a slight problem. Now, I did this purposely because I want to show you. It says maximum free days is seven. If you want to offer more than seven days free, please choose weeks or months from the drop-down. This is S2 members' Uh, validation which prevents you from creating a button 
that, that PayPal would consider invalid. PayPal has a limitation. You cannot offer more than seven days for free. But you can still accomplish the same thing. So if I want to offer 14 days for free, I have to offer two weeks. Okay? So that's that's the solution to that that that's that situation. If you get an alert like that, then just use one of the different calculations. Okay? So now I can generate my button code and it pulls up a demonstration. Now you can click this and it'll open in a new window and it will demonstrate the functionality of that button. When they arrive at PayPal, it'll give them a description and it'll show that they have the first two weeks free and then they're going to be charged $169 for each month. And the charge today is $0. Okay? So I'm going to close this down. And what I want to do after I've created this button code and I've tested it, I want to take the short code and copy it. Because this is what I'm going to integrate into my membership options page. So I'm going to go back over to my membership options page here. I'm going to click on pages. And I'm going to find my membership options page, which you should already have created. Uh, if you watch the introductory video, I created this page, and, and so you can see how that's done. I click on edit. And then what I want to do is I want to paste that short code right into the editor. Now, does it matter whether I paste it into the visual editor or the HTML editor? No, it doesn't make any difference. Now, if you had if you had chosen the full button format, which we didn't really review there in the last in that last demonstration, but there is another format that's the full button code, and if you had chosen that format, then you would have to paste that version into the HTML editor. But this short code format is what we recommend, and it works in either in either tab. Uh, it doesn't really matter. It, it's cross compatible. Okay, so I just click update. And I want to go view this page. Okay, and this is on the front end of the site now. And the front end of this site is just powered by the, the default WordPress theme for WordPress 3.0, which is called uh, 2010. And I can see my PayPal button here, which, which is generated by that short code uh, automatically. And it's already configured. And if I click on this button, it will take me over to the screen we just saw at PayPal. Now, I, what I don't have here yet is that option I was telling you about where we want to provide the ability for someone to register on the site for free. So this would be a paid option. So I'm going to go back and edit this page again. And when you install us to member, you'll probably want to go through and add you know, images or other design elements that would sit around this. But I'm just going to generically label them here in, in this demonstration. So this is for premium paid access. And up here, I want to provide a free option. So I might put in something like register free, sign up now. Now this will not require any, any PayPal button. Instead, what I do is I just put in a link. So I will type in, well, actually what I would do in the visual editor is just highlight this line and then click on my link icon here. And when this comes up, you type in your domain name. In this case, it's videos.snapsy.com. And then whatever your installation is, whatever your WordPress installation is, so it could be videos.snapsy.com, or if you installed it into a subdirectory, you might have something like WP uh, as a subdirectory. But whenever you get whenever you get finished typing in the initial URL to your installation of WordPress, then you finish it off by adding wp-login.php, and then you add question mark action equals register. Okay, and that is the registration form. So I just click insert, and now I have that link here for visitors in the public. Without having to pay, they can sign up, and that will give them level zero access. Now, they won't have the level one access that, that I've deemed premium, but they will be able to create an account and just log in. So I'm going to go ahead and update. Now let's go back and take a look at this page. Okay, so there's my register free option. And if I click this link, I'll be taken over to this check this this registration form. Okay, and again we, we configured this in the first introductory video. And we added a custom field for zip code that's required as well. Now you can rebrand this. You can add your own logo using the S2 member general options panel. You can change the background, you can change the colors, you can add additional fields to this form. You can also integrate using S2 members API under list servers, you can integrate a, a, an opt-in checkbox here and you can Hook it into an AWeber account or to a MailChimp account. Okay, so let's go in back here and take a look at how this actually works. If I log out of the site now, 
and then I go back to the site while I'm not logged in, this is a page that I protected with S2 member, and it's protected at level one. So if I click this link, I can see it doesn't take me to that page because S2 member has protected. Instead, it automatically redirects me to the membership options page where the customer now is confronted with a decision. Do they register for free? And underneath this, you might put in what comes with free access. And then S2 member level one, they have, you can put in additional features, and then this option they could consider, and this would be a paid option. If they register here, they will go in at level zero. If they, if they check out here, when they finish checking out at PayPal, when they return back to your site, they'll be confronted with the same registration form as you see here. The same free registration form, only S2 member will automatically recognize that they have completed a valid transaction at PayPal and whenever they register, it will put them in automatically at S2 member level number one so that they have access to what it is they paid for. Okay? And it's that simple. S2 member handles everything for you almost all by itself. All you really have to do is just generate the button codes and put them into the membership options page. And then if you want to provide free access, then this is how you do that. Now, also, what I, one of the things, I'm going to log back into the dashboard because there's another area where that registration link is already made available to you. If you get confused about how to formulate, you can go to estimate general options, and if you're not sure how to formulate that, re formulate that registration link, you can go into your, your dashboard here and go to this little subsection under general options and click this link. And right here at the bottom, you'll see the little link says register, and that's the page. You can just copy the URL from your browser and that's the link you send anybody that you want to have the ability to register for free at level number zero. Okay, And that's the same link that we used on the front side of the site here on our membership options page. So this is that same page. No matter, no matter what you've done on your installation of WordPress, it will almost always be wp-login.php action equals register.